Hi, today I will demonstrate how to create custom event and delegate and how to work with them and I will demonstrate a real world example so that you can understand event and delegate better. Now here in Visual Studio, I have created a new MT console application and I have added three classes. Uh, one is auth service, another is auth state. These two classes are empty and the other one is user info here. There are two properties username and user authenticated. And there's a method to show the username. I mean output the username in the console. And I've created a private method change auth state. And the idea is that I will uh, change this is authenticated state from this auth state class using this auth service. So we will create an event uh, in this uh, auth service and we will uh, subscribe this event uh, in this class user info and we will invoke uh, the event from auth state this class. So let's get started. Now first let's define the delegate of the event, I mean the delegate should be uh, based on this uh, function which we intend to invoke. So this function will return void and it will take one uh, string as parameter. So let's define the delegate, so we define delegate like public delegate and void and we uh, give it a name, let's say auth state change handler and it will take a string as parameter let's say it's username now let's create the event i will create a static event static event now the type of the event should be this auth state change handler and we can uh, name this on auth state change like this and we can make this nullable so like this now let's make a static method to invoke this event so public static and it will return nothing but and let's say change auth state so and we'll also take username as parameter and here first we will check if this event is null so if this is not null then we will just invoke this uh, function and pass this uh, parameter let's save this and let's go to auth state class and here we will add uh, method for login so public void login and we will receive username and password so let's say there's a boolean variable so is uh, login success and initially it will be false and i will add a dummy condition like if password equal to suppose one to three then we will uh, make this true is login success to true otherwise it will remain false now after this we will check if uh, login uh, is login success then we will uh, call this auth service dot change auth state and we will pass this username I mean, the login is successful so we will pass this username otherwise we will uh, pass an empty string as username so auth service dot change auth state to string dot empty so that is a login function now let's add a method for logout so public white logout and here we will uh, change dot state and we'll pass empty string so the user gets logged out now let's save this what it will do it will uh, invoke this event so the classes which has subscribed to this event will be notified and we'll get this username so we will now uh, subscribe to this event in the user info 
So let's uh, create the constructor and subscribe to the event in the constructor. So I create a constructor user info and here I will uh, subscribe to this event. So on or the state change and we subscribe to an event like this plus equal and we specify the function which is this change of state here it will receive the username and it will set the username if it's not null and it will set is authenticated equal true now we should also uh, dispose i mean uh, unsubs unsubscribe to this when this class disposes so let's implement i disposable and implement the interface so this public void dispose here we will unsubscribe to this event so it will be almost same so in place of plus it will be minus so like this let's set this and test this from program class here let's add this code so first we are creating an instance of user info class and there we are just outputting the username in the console and then we are actually trying to log in using a uh, username and password so the password is 123 so it will be uh, successfully logged in and after that when we uh, log the username in the console it should be this uh, username and after that we are logging out and then uh, show the username again in this point at this point it should be uh, null i mean the, in the console no user is logged in should appear and after that we are trying to log in with a uh, wrong password and it should be the same like uh, no user is logged in at this point so let's save this and try to run it so let's see here you can see first uh, for this um, line number eight it's uh, showing no user is logged in then after we are uh, logged in for line number 13 is uh, showing username and after we have logged out then uh, for the line number 16 is uh, showing no user is logged in here and for the last uh, in the line number 19 you can see this uh, log in the console so that's it for today see you in the next video